Hey, what is up, guys? This is Corporal. Welcome to our first look at the all-new Tarantula unit. I'm just up against a bot here on the good old test server, and we're just going to see how this one rolls out. Now, this unit is kind of like a medium-range, um, I don't know, chaff-killing, almost like... Obviously, like, like a sledgehammer, but not a sledgehammer. It's a very, very interesting unit indeed. Now, it does also have a tech that we're definitely, definitely going to be using in this game. If we just get some close-ups of it uh, shooting off here. It's got quite a good rate of fire. I love the sound design on the son of a gun. It sounds awesome. Um, but its best tech, or at least it's kind of like defining tech, is the spider mine tech. Which I might just pick up next round, or maybe just the round after. Just to show it off kind of quickly. It basically deploys a crap load of walking mines <laughs> that then kind of rush the nearest unit, swarm them down. They can be shot by enemy units, uh, as you will soon see. And, um, yeah, they, they obviously detonate on impact, right? It's just a happy little chaff-killing walker. Now, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and just show the sucker in uh, action as best as we possibly can in this video. Okay, so heavy armor becomes available... Heavy armor's not bad, you know. I guess we'll go for a heavy armor tarantula. Why not, man? Smack it up on this side. It's fine. Okay. And I guess we just go something a little bit like so. Something like this, I guess. See how we do here. Oh my god, dude. Really? Really? Did the AI just read my mind? What the hell is this, dude? If it's chaffically refer I'm about to flank with crawlers? Oh my god. Well, okay. Let's see if we can just turn a win in this one anyway, man. Okay. So the other tech options that these tarantulas also have available uh, tend to just be stuff that enhance their dam. It's kind of like the standard ammo piercing bullets, mech ridge, uh, range enhancement is also fine. They can also tech into um, anti-air ammunition as well if you do decide to go ahead and unlock that tech our heavy armor is actually helping out quite a bit over here on this side as well we'll speed along through this very good hopefully this guy can get level two that would be a big big help to us against this bot extremely intense matchup we got going here what is it doing oh my god okay well the trench is an idiot as you can see wow it's actually the other one that gets ranked two. fair enough man deployment specialist Ooh, should we just spam tarantulas and just get the most out of it? Could be kind of funny. Upgrade these guys. Um, I mean, what we need is definitely not more tarantulas, but, you know. Ah, you know what? To hell with it. Let's go ahead and just drop them, man. Why not? I'm going to try and keep them somewhat close to my fangs in case crawlers come out from the AI in this game. We'll just see how that goes. They can kind of protect against those guys. Oh my god, dude. The AI somehow picks up a tarantula, armor piercing bullets, and a hacker. And another tarantula. Dude, I didn't know that hard AI cheats. <laughs> well, okay. Let's see what we got, man. See what we can do. Hacker being on the field is quite terrifying. We're getting to connect on his guys before they hit anything meaningful, though. So that's good, at least. Okay. We might get our goddamn nerds stolen over here, which would be absolutely tragic. In the end of all things good and holy in the world. Okay. Next round, we're going to pull the trigger on the spider mine button. Ensure these guys just spamming the field with mines. It's quite a glorious sight. Okay. Nice. Well, at least we've got an upgrade available now. Uh, meanwhile, stangs, melting points. The scorpions? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll go the stangs. Get the stangs in all up in the back line like this. Uh, something like so. Do we pick up the upgrade here? Just the spider mines? Definitely the spider mines. You know what, man? Let's just do this, man. Let's just, let's just get the show on the road, shall we? Okay. Mine deployment. Let's do this, man. Here they go, boys. So, originally... When uh, this tarantula unit was first released, as you can see, the mines is not making it to their target. They're quite squishy. They can be gunned down and kind of act more as chaff, but they do get deployed quite frequently, which is decent at least. Mine here is actually going to get to make it in and just explode the hell out of the tarantula, so that's grand. Um, but yeah, when the unit was first released uh, into testing, originally the mines did not scale with the level of the tarantula, which is kind of bizarre, right? Kind of strange. 
Um, it looks like we need a lot more chaff on this uh, right side, by the way. A lot more. Mine's going to YOLO in, take out that big nerd. And get the hacker dead, then we can actually maybe turn this... Nah, building dying makes it a bit of a disaster. A bit of an impossibility. Okay. But yeah, now they actually scale with level. They also used to spawn a lot more mines. But the number of mines has been reduced, I guess, to... Um... Ooh, subsidized crawler. Nah, probably not. Fortified staying, also probably not. I think this is a skip. Okay. Let's get more crawlers on the field. Um, do we also just want to hmm, range on the stangs? I think stang range is fine. He's also got range on fangs, so... Go ahead, do a little bit of something like that. Missile. I'm happy to just missile these guys down. Okay. Something like that. That's a lot more chaff room to contend with. I'm seeing him. It's a bot, okay. But alright, man. Also, more crawlers coming in slowly like this gives more chance for the uh, mines to get in on the second round of deployment. So let's see uh, what kind of difference that, mostly, honestly, the stangs are going to get to make here. More mines come down. Very nice. Oh my god, dude. The mines can actually be hacked, confirmed. But okay. This big boy here on this side is still a big, big problem for us to bring down, huh? Yeah, I guess we just need like a melting point over here. Meanwhile, on this side, not going too bad. Not too shabby at all. We trade buildings. Oh, can we even get this thing dead? We do actually get one of them dead, finally. Okay. Man, the AI's making a fool out of us. Yeah. Um, meanwhile... Double steel ball... I'm not sure I particularly like any of these. I think I grab the steel balls and sell. And start to pick up a melting point instead. I feel like we just need one over here. I feel like that's just the missing piece of the puzzle on this uh, far side. Find a plunket right there, perhaps. Same thing over here. Steel balls can arrive late, I suppose. No, they're just going to get hacked on this side, though. It's not a good idea. Uh, levels on the stangs or more chaff? Probably more chaff. Get some splitting crawlers. Okay. Anti-air comes out on the AI stangs completely randomly. Wraiths also come out. We should have what it takes to take care of the wraiths, I think. Okay. Let's see, man. Hopefully the melting point's going to make a difference for us over here on the side and give us a means to actually kill this big guy on the ground. I think that's uh, the main hurdle over there. Meanwhile, on the left side, we're doing just fine. The mines deploy, by the way, every what? 15 seconds? It's not bad at all, man. Hopefully we got off another round over here. We do. Before the maximum gets those guys dead. All kinds of mines fit to collide over here. Probably going to get the building kill for us. We actually just lose the melting point on the side, which is completely tragic. Okay. Thankfully, though, it looks like we get the building kill at just the right time uh, on this occasion. Very good, very good. Should be winnable. Okay, finally, man, we turn things around. There it is. Now, at this point, I'm just going to max the hell out of every scorpion that we've got. Sorry, tarantula that we've got. Tech specialist is going to help us a lot to do that. Um, do I just give them range and mech rage? Range first probably makes more sense. Let's do that. Let's pick up levels where we can. Just two more. I think I'm just going to go for a numbers game, you know. Just kind of swarm them everywhere. Ah, we'll also need some levels on the Stangs. They've got to kind of keep up with his Fangs and his Mustangs, right? Uh, we can also quite safely sell those guys off. They've been doing nothing for quite a while. Uh, upgrade. Upgrade. Levels on the Stangs are a bit too important to ignore, right? Do a bit of this. Okay. All right, man. War Factory comes out, no problem, man. We've got Tarantulas. They're going to do awesome. Now, when they die... Do they explode? Oh my god, they actually can explode and hit your own guys. So that's something that I was just thinking, hang on. I should really pay attention to that and make sure that that isn't happening. But it turns out that that can happen. Oh god, we also have to sell the steel balls over here. What the hell am I doing on that side? Okay. Thankfully, we're still getting to absolutely stomp over here, which is great. 
And yeah, can confirm if one mine dies beside the other mines, that is a disaster. And it will actually kill all of them. Melting Point is at least going to get the big guy down over here. Ooh, just as the building dies. That's quite lovely. And the mine brigade is arriving. Oh my god. Okay, that's a bit of a disaster. So, not recommended to spam the crap out of a billion tarantulas. Unless they're like really quite far in. Um, in your army composition. Otherwise, the mines are much, much more likely to kind of catch fangs and, uh, and kill your other chaff accidentally. Like, you don't want the mines to be running through your existing chaff, if that makes sense. Or you can run into all kinds of problems. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and skip these options. Nothing that amazing there. We'll upgrade, we'll upgrade. Um, I kind of just want to go, like, full tech into these guys and just see what happens. Even if it's just dumb. This is max, max, blah, max tech the hell out of them. And see what that does, I suppose. Uh, we can also sell off the steel bollocks over there now as well. That's totally fine. Um, we just going to still trust in this one melting point to stay alive? It should be able to stay alive. Should be fine. Should be all right, man. Um, and then to spam a crap load of crawlers is all I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? Get some crawlers down like over here. Some over here. We already hit plus range. High mobility. Maybe. Probably not. Hmm. More fangs to arrive from behind the melting point could be fine. Okay, I guess we will go high mobility after all. The cash is going to work out just fine. No! The maxman is in the way of these late arrivals. I guess they can just go this side. Okay. Let's just see how this goes, man. Bloody double shot scorpion comes out for some odd reason. But okay. Wow, look at the rate of fire on these goddamn tarantulas now, dude. Mechridge is legit. So, Max, check. These guys do a pretty damn good amount of work for us. Our chaff is going to start to die off as the next wave of mines comes in. But again, the mines can explode each other. That's by far one of the biggest stumbling blocks that I guess folks might run into. The hackers are still doing a lot of work over here on this side. But we are chunking the hell out of war factories right now. Feeling pretty good. Another wave of mines comes out, which is great for distracting the hell out of the melting points. And in fact, oh my god, the mines actually kill off the melting points. Very, very juicy indeed. And the damage is pretty saucy. Okay, man. That's it. That's my first experience with a new tarantula unit, man. So, what do you think? Now, chatter behind the scenes has been that maybe these guys just feel a little bit underpowered right now. And we should definitely, definitely be expecting to see these guys see some more tweaks. Uh, that's obviously very, very normal for a new unit anywhere, right? New unit gets released. Usually it's attack interval, uh, it's damage, it's health. Even its move speed is going to get tweaked. That's not uncommon at all. Um, but the trench has been through quite a lot of iterations. You know, it's been kind of switched around. The way that its techs produce mines, like I mentioned, uh, has already been switched around quite a bit. So make sure you do get your feedback in. Um, the devs do listen a hell of a lot, which is awesome. Um, and I know for a fact that they really do keep their finger on the pulse of what the community thinks of a certain unit, whether it's too weak, too powerful, or kind of badly designed, and they try and tweak things. So get the feedback posted down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all did enjoy this one, and I'm going to catch all of you all just a tad bit later, man.